Okay, so first of all, I want to ask you about Haley's Comet, sure. of course, because it's a great song. It's, uh, you know, got a good story. I was wondering if there's any, like, fan stories that you've had, like, people come up and tell you that they relate to it or anything like that. Haley's Comet um, is probably the most personal track on my album, and it really was written for me sort of encouraging, a self-encouraging story. It was really written for the person who's ever wanted something so bad in their life and, and you know, just needing that strength to chase a dream. And I've actually had several people come up to me and just say, that song brought me so much light and that's really what it's all about. I think, I think no matter what you're chasing, it's so good to have you know, whether it's a friend or somebody telling, you know, just keep going. And, yeah. and I felt like that song, you know, is that sort of universal message. Yeah. Agreed. It's a really, really Oh, thank song. you. I appreciate I that. Um, I kind of wanted to ask you also about the video. Like, whose concept was that? How did that come to be? It's crazy. Um, I had the idea. I get, like, these crazy ideas when I'm out, like, jogging. And um, I was trying to think, you know, what would the music video be to Haley's Comet? And I felt you know, there's something innocent about that song and, you know, the, the fact that I, I decided to go with an animation and more anime style, which is big eyes, you know, kind of dreamy and, and it just felt like it was perfect. And so I worked with a company in, in Nashville uh, called Magnetic Dreams and we, we built the characters, um, you know, from the ground up. So. I did not build the characters, but I was like, yeah, that looks like me, that looks like my dad, and so the guy character kind of looks like my dad in real life, oh, that's and, awesome. and, you know, me, you know, trying to find what I would look like as a little girl, so it was, it was quite authentic, and it was great to be part of that whole process. Yeah. Yeah. Probably something a lot different than you would have thought of, you know, that you thought you might find yourself doing something. Yeah, I never thought I would make a video like that, and yeah. it... And what I love about it is it translates to little kids, to, you know, older, anyone who's, you know, zero to 99, it, it kind of works for everybody. Very cool. Um, I saw that you had been recently touring in the UK, so yes. can you want to talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. I, I just got back on a, a month-long tour. I was in Ireland, Scotland, England, and then we finished in Switzerland. Um, a couple years ago, um, I started going over to the UK and touring quite a bit. I married an Englishman, so it kind of made sense for me to, to go over there. But um, I've just found that country music is really uh, taken off. And it's something that people are really drawn to. It's a story. Um, there is also a, a really wonderful you know, interaction with the crowd. I think people really are hungry for for those types of songs and that type of music. So I want to keep going over there and, and touring, and uh, it's it's such a great experience being able to do that. That's really cool. Yeah, I was going to ask you what the fans, like, how they varied, or if it was very similar to touring in the U.S. It's quite different. I, I think, you know, we're so spo I, I say this, we're really spoiled in a way. Um, I, I get to walk down Broadway and hear amazing singers and songwriters, and even the in the round format, which I'm so used to, you know, doing here in Nashville, um, they don't do that there. So, so anytime, you know, if someone takes the time to go over, and especially if you go to a small town, people hang on every word, and it's so, so it's really quite sweet, um, the difference, and and also, you know, but also Nashville makes us up. So I think, you know, it's it's this town that actually makes everybody an amazing songwriter, amazing singer, so we can go and translate all over the world, really. Yeah. Do you find that they kind of, like, focus more on your performance as opposed to maybe here where, you know, people are a little distracted sometimes? I see, like, at Writer's Round, you know, people kind of, you know, they're on their phone or they're talking or something like that. Do you kind of find that they're more intent? More attentive audience, definitely, in the UK. Um, and then also, too, you know, I think this the story is so different for them too. I think the the story of of just a song that is really well written. I think um, works. It really works over there. Um, it's it's really fun. Very cool. Uh, let's see. So I was going to ask you too. What are you most looking forward to achieving as an artist? Any specific goals, venues that you want to play? Ooh, that's such a fun question. Um, 
It's funny, over the last few years, my, my goals have changed so much. I mean, really, for me, actually putting out Dream Country was a really big uh, dream of mine. I always wanted to put out the, that type of album. Um, and then just to see it translate, you know, all over the world has been really cool. I think if I, my goal is just to continue making beautiful music and getting to tour and I try to like make this goal up to, to see one place I've never seen before each year and go tour and, and play music. But um, that's that's really my goal at this moment. And I'm working on new tunes as we speak, so I'm in the in the writing process. Okay, and that's what I was gonna ask you too, which are, <laughs> what's the rest of 2017 looking like for you? Lots of touring. So after CMA Fest, I'm going to be touring like crazy, um, both in Europe again awesome. and over here um, in the U.S. So just touring um, all the songs from Dream Country. But then when I'm home, I'm doing a lot of writing. So uh, and that's one of my favorite parts about of of my process is I'm a really big fan of the the songwriting part. So I would people have different seasons where they. You know, it's writing season or touring season, but I, I still always have to write, even when I'm touring. Okay. 